Good evening, Oaxis. You're listening to 121.5 VDOO KMBS WXYZ at the end of the dial and the end of the line. Please send us your money. Weather and traffic will be coming up shortly, but first, the news. The Disease Control Department has issued a global warning to exercise caution when fighting at Pale Canyon Chemical. The DCD, Hayoka Bloodworks, Quarmet Labs, and Biolabs across Araxis are scrambling to find out why some soldiers have mutated flaming pumpkin heads. The prevalent theory is the introduction of an invasive species at Shadespire Farms. Soldiers are being advised to collect pumpkin seeds to halt the spread. Hawson experienced rolling blackouts today when Gurney Dam's turbines stopped working for 11 hours. Engineers at the remaining three amp stations struggled to keep up, keep up with the spike in demand. Management begged the question, how much power do their fucking towers consume? A tense hostage situation today at the Amherst Warpgate when player Ricky Parez took a new player as a human shield and held him at gunpoint. Over the seven-hour standoff with Warpgate Transit Authority, he demanded that his previously banned account, Chris Antista Smells Like Pizza, be reinstated and be granted BR-100 with a Golden Commissioner. The situation resolved when What's SOE that? banned him out of the game again. A manhunt ensued on Hawson today at Nason's Defiance when a lone VS stalker infiltrator decided to take up residence in the base. The search lasted for five hours and required a full platoon of the Angels of Death to deal with the situation. The infiltrator was silent for the majority of the hunt until he reportedly posted in yell chat that he had simply been AFK, during which he took a nap, made a sandwich, and banged all of their moms. A spokesperson from the outfit was quoted as saying, We would have found the stalker earlier, but we had no idea how to get down to C point. In a rare showing of cross-factional friendship, several members of the Vanu Sovereignty have been witnessed fighting alongside NC forces. The anonymous group only referred to themselves as assless chaps who flagged down several members of VCO through communications of TELS, dubstep, and Morse code through lasers. Ambassadors from both sides met in several closed-door meetings where it is rumored that the VS outfit offered elite training that included, but was not limited to, aiming down one's sights in exchange for soldiers that they would, quote, totally not use as meat shields. One NC soldier remarked that the preliminary results for the training are pretty dang. Training efforts have ramped up among VCO squads whose use of their weapons, sights, and scopes continue to prove effective. While participating members reported that their accuracies have drastically increased, an outspoken member of the NC, Limp Linguini, denounced the methods, likening the use of a gun sights as hacks and claimed that aiming was too OP. He added that the Vanu were always cheating, to which a VS ambassador simply replied, LOL and could not be reached for further comment. Advertisements for the November 4th Corporate Congress midterm elections are ramping up. The casual party is expected to retain their majority in the House despite overwhelmingly lazy and half-assed campaigning. Meanwhile, the hardcore party is going all out in swing territories like Camp Connery and Granite Valley Garrison to retain their slim majority in the Senate. Two House seats held by furries who caucus with hardcores are not up for re-election. In pop culture news, tickets have gone on sale for the Vanu Sovereignty sponsored dance music event. Ba, Electric ba, 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 It'll be hosted ba, through the month of October at the top of the Vanu Asylum ba, 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 with a beautiful ba, 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 view of the battle scarred plains of Indar. Das Ozenfall has constructed the largest Ferris wheel ever recorded, plated with Araxium Lumifiber to get attendees really high. Other attractions include Lancer Lasher Laser Light Show, Sunderer Hay Bale Rides Through the Haunted Forest, Wacko Wisdom Cube, Mad Rider Tilt a World. Pin the Spandex on the Gator, and much more. Musical artists include Hammer Boss's hardcore Scatmax band, Araxiam album winning DJ Orion is Love, and Skrillex. Medicare, Cost of admission will be initially priced at 10,000 pumpkin seeds, subject to nerf by SOE. Neon colored Spandex dress code will be strictly enforced. Epileptic visitors enter at their own risk. A Valkyrie pilot was killed today attempting to navigate the jagged spires of not research. Upon successfully clearing the signature purple crystals, it was suddenly broadsided by a galaxy. The galaxy pilot is suspected of hit and run DWI, driving while incompetent. He is reportedly piloting, squad leading, platoon leading, looking at the map, responding to a slash tail, and jerking it all at the same time. This just in, SOE announces that the mute button still works and that you don't have to listen to this report if you don't want to. Oh, yeah, Two new conglomerate soldiers died yesterday after trying to participate in the Ice Bucket Challenge. The stunt involved dropping a bucket of ice from a galaxy at 900 meters. 
Both participants were wearing bandanas. The ice Let was going so fast it split open both skulls on impact. No word yet if anyone has donated. And for your up to the second traffic report, it's 5 seconds of the Amherst Warp Gate, 12 seconds of the Hawson Warp Gate due to the alert, 7 seconds of the Esmere Warp Gate, and Indark Warp Gate has been shut down. Medic here, I'll patch it up. forecast, it's 77 degrees on Amherst, 59 on Hawson, 108 on Indark, and Drag negative out. 47 on Esmere. Your members only double XP weekend for October is the 24th through the 27th. This news report has been made possible through the combined efforts of Ridea, Zine, Professor Chaos 2001, Hatsumiki, 7%, Brains 101, Dyserson, Deathfield, and Strignoff. <laughs> this report is brought to you by the <laughs> Save the Sky Whale Foundation. Every year, tens of thousands of sky whales are flipped, abandoned, and shot out of the sky. With your donation of just 10 station cash, you'll be helping these gentle giants earn the bulldogs and walkers they need to protect themselves. Call now at 555-5555-55. Sarah McLaughlin is standing by to take your call. This radio broadcast is also brought to you by Mechanical Joe's Ogre Armor, the premier max armor for the swamps of Hawson. Earn your bonus checks in style with the iconic custom fit. One size fits all skill suit that demands its foes get good. Ogre Armor. Because a battle's not over till it's ogre. This has been 121.5 VDOO KMVS WXYZ. Radio Free Araxis. Reminding you that it's pronounced Amorish, not Amerish. Amorish. Woo!